What's going on guys? Today I'm going to actually do my very first beer review. Um, this is a beer that I've had a number of times, um, both fresh and aged between one and two years. This bottle right here was bottled in April of last year, so we definitely have well over a year old. Um, 120 minute uh, IPA by Dogfish Head and it's definitely an imperial you could call it a triple IPA it's anywhere between uh, 15 and 20 percent most of the time though what I've seen is gonna be around 18 I've had this on draft um, definitely had it in the bottle like I said uh, it it's an interesting beer um, I encourage anyone to, you know, who likes IPAs to try it at least. It the alcohol is actually hidden very well because it is so um, high ABV. It, you get that very sweet, bitter taste coming through um, in the beer itself. You know, um, definitely lots of malt backbone, and it's not overly bitter definitely you have it considered a palate wrecker um afterwards you're not going to taste anything for a while but uh without further ado i'm going to give you um uh, my take uh on the beer itself as the cap falls off we'll do a little pour just to taste um this beer is distinct. It's very dark for an IPA. Um, if you take a look at it, and winter is coming, it's snowing outside right now. Uh, mountains are getting quite a bit of snow. Um, it's a very distinct color. It is a very um, dark IPA, I'll say that much. But you do get that brilliant um, dark hue. I have a bottle of Lagavulin. Um, notice how dark this IPA is. Um, double IPA, excuse me. Uh, the head dissipates, you know, very, very quickly. And when we take uh, the nose, mm. you get, um, I always get caramel right off the bat. It's very distinct. Caramel and then definitely uh, pineapple coming through. Not, not the stuff that you find at the store. You know, open a can, you get that little high fructose corn syrup smell. Um, it's, it's definitely pungent, um, uh, but not overwhelming. Now, give it a quick taste on the palate. Hmm. Wow. Yes, this is, it's been a while since I've actually had this beer. Um, alcohol forward, you definitely get the heat and it, after you take the sip, it definitely starts to build up as it lingers with a medium to long aftertaste lingering. Lots of hot bitterness. Uh, this is definitely what I would say, uh, a bitter beer, a palate record, but not the, believe it or not, not the most intense. I know after 100 IBUs, it becomes pretty much, well, indistinguishable, but there is a nice malt backbone to the beer as well. Uh, gives it a very nice um, balance with the high ABV. So with that alcohol, with that bitterness, with that, you get more of that pineapple, um, you know, very, uh, I don't want to say overly sweet, but it is pretty sweet um, with the alcohol taste. Uh, this one, since it is a little older, I can definitely taste in it. Um, some oxidation, minimal though. 
Uh, it doesn't taste as fresh as I've had it in the past. Um, but overall, this beer is one to try. You know, for hop heads that want to experiment, this beer is um, available most liquor stores around the country. Uh, not very hard to find anymore. It used to be only brewed um, on occasion, once or twice a year, um, but now much more available. Last thoughts, you know, I would, I would say this is a good one, and if I, you know, have to give it a grade, I'd give it a solid uh, B plus. Um, my criteria, I would give it roughly a six to seven maybe 7.5 out of 10. Um, think of a way to actually go through and rate this more empirically, you know, so in the future it can go back and review, but yeah. Great beer. Um, to me, it's very easy drinking. Uh, it's definitely a slow sipper that you want to enjoy. Um, oh yeah. Actually, I'm getting more pine out of that too. Pine with the malt that's very, very well balanced, uh, very sweet with the alcohol forward, as I said again, um, different parts of your palate. That caramel, uh, pineapple, definitely boozy with that lingering aftertaste. It's honestly, it's just very uh, enjoyable. Um, very, very enjoyable. So, yeah, if you want to give it a try, I would recommend it. Um, like I said, thanks guys. Uh, do some more of these videos in the future. Um, for now, I'm going to pour a little more to enjoy. Look at that color. Great. Remember, winter is coming. Uh, please like, uh, subscribe, comment. Do you like this beer? Have you tried it before? Uh, let me know. I'm looking forward to hear from you guys. So thanks and have a good one.